everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Rich on Life Lofts. I am Richard and my lofts are over there. Today I'm going to show you how I make my drop trap. I know a lot of people out there use bobs and bob traps or spucknicks. I make mine out of just some um, one by one material and these 45 inch, four inch PVC pipes. Works like a champ. I think these are 325 right now at Home Depot. Don't quote me on that. Price is subject to change. And I normally put, I've always used three of them. This time I'm only using two of them. I'm only making this one for my young bird or my old bird loft. So right now I'm not in a big hurry for them to come in. They can come in when they want. Uh, right now they're just pets. So next year I'll probably have to uh, work on that a little bit. But that's next year. That's another project. But I basically just take a take the one the one by one and make a little frame. I made 45s on this one and screwed and glued it together. You don't have to do 45s. You can just do butt joints on them. I find with these cheap one by ones, the uh, using a 45 helps it split because you can back the screw up a little farther in the wood than, than you could if you're doing butt joints. But that's it, just a dab of glue, four screws, and uh, let me put this camera down and I'll get those uh, tubes inserted and we'll go from there. But once I get them fit in there, these fit pretty tight, but I'm gonna put a little uh, three quarter inch screw through the sides just in case this does swell up or shrink down or anything because of the weather and then I'm going to give it a coat of white paint and I am going to install it on the loft tomorrow so let me get this screwed together and get a coat of paint on it okay I got a coat of paint on it not a good coat I'll put a second on it a little later then I went ahead and put a coat of paint on the bob trap because to teach the birds to use this I have a bob trap they have to go through to get out into the aviary. And then to get back in to eat, they have to go through the drop traps. So they basically train themselves. So after a couple of days, they don't have any issues because like I said, I normally use three of them. I was gonna show you my old one. I don't know what I did with it. It's laying around here somewhere in my junk heap. Oh, there it is. See, my old one's laying over there. And they get pretty good at it. They come in and with no problems. So this one here is going to go right underneath that bob trap coming out. Right now, I just have it open so they can come and go. But tomorrow when I install that drop trap, I will drop those barbs and when they come out into the aviary, they're gonna to have to go back in through the bob trap. And so they'll all learn. And then I'm gonna have the same thing over on that side, except on the racing loft, I'm gonna have one bob trap coming out. And then I'm gonna have two sets of those uh, drops going in. So they'll have four choice, four holes to go in. So when they do come back from a race, hopefully they'll land on the pad and drop in the hole. That's the goal anyway. So I'll be back tomorrow when I get it all put in. Hey, welcome back. It is now Saturday. I got the trap in. Don't worry about that little mistake up above it. I was laying on my back with my arm and jigsaw going through the hole, cutting back towards me and I just got all wonky. I'll put a dab of paint over that and you'll never know it was there. So, as I said before, I use the bob trap. So when they come out in the aviary, they have to go into the drop trap. Now I'm gonna have to redo the inside because where that drop trap is, there was a stanchion right there that I had to cut through. So I'm gonna redo the inside a little bit, but that's what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna throw some birds out here in the aviary and hopefully I can get a quick video of them using it. I think I'm going to let the birds out today. It's calm, it's cool, it's like 52 degrees and completely cloudy. Should be a good day for them to fly. So let me shoo some of these guys out in the aviary 
and we'll see how it works. Okay, these are all the young uh, old birds out here. I chased them all out through the paper. Actually, I'm gonna let these guys fly, but they haven't flown for a while. Let me open this door and see if they'll go. Don't mind my Yankee stick right there. I gotta figure something out. I guess not all of them wanna go. Some of them might be in. There you go. That's all the old birds out. Maybe they'll flock up. Oh, there goes, there goes that, that lazy one. Never flies. I don't know what its problem is. Here's what I found. But they're up flying. They know how to use those drops. They've used them plenty of times before. So I don't know where they went, but that's going to be it for today's video. There's two by themselves and here comes the rest of them. Like I said, they have not been out in a long time with the weather we've had and the hawks we had before that. So I don't think they're going to fly very long. I just wanted to get them out. Yeah, they're grouping up. I figure they're going to fly for about. 30 minutes, except that one. That one never flies. I don't know what his deal is. That cockbird right there, I let him out. And he flies straight to the roof of the house. And then when all the other birds take off, he flies right to either that aviary or that aviary. And he sits there until they all come in. I just figure he's hawk bait, but he seems to survive. So guys, hey, thanks for watching. Hope this little uh, drop trap was interesting to you. Like I said, it's a cheap way to do it. I think I have maybe $10, maybe $15 into it. And the homers, they use it really, really good. They don't have any problems with it. They learned how to use it really, really quick. And I think one of the big features is having the barbs coming out and the drop trap going in because they come out in the aviary to bathe when I put the bath out here or just to get some sun. And then they uh, they have to go in through the bob, uh, drop trap. So they learn pretty quickly. Like I said, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please hit the like button. I'm gonna do a little Archie time and call this one a day. Have a great one, thank you.